Autosaves. The scariest one of all. Hello guys and girls. Voices from the Dark here. Welcome to Resident Evil 2, the remake. We are currently streaming this live. Uh, there's a bit of a bit of a crowd watching, and I figured I'd just post this on YouTube so you can see too. Forgot to greet Darkbot. We also have Darkbot in we can there we go. And they're gone. So I've played through Resident Evil 2 before. But I want to play it again. It's such a fun game to play, and so I want to share that experience with you. 69 people watching. This is perfect. We're gonna start up a new game. And you can choose either Leon S. Kennedy or Claire Redfield. Now Leon's my boy. Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite, if not my favorite game, so. After a few days of radio silence from his new post, Leon S. Kennedy drives to Raccoon City to scope things out. Unbeknownst to him, a nightmare awaits. We'll be playing on Hardcore, which has a couple of side effects. To save, we will need an item, an ink ribbon that we can find in limited quantities in the game. There's no autosave, and the enemies will be stronger. This is also a game where you can't kill everything. You gotta conserve your ammunition, hence survival horror. And the alert is just for emergencies, guys. Okay, hardcore. Oh yeah, I'm not a little baby. Let's go. Raccoon City. It's time for the first day on the job. Look, man, I'm serious, okay? I saw this with my own eyes. Oh, I believe you, buddy. I believe you. <laughs> just tell us a story. Tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar. And this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, you'll sink to teeth and build them. I should have passed somebody. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. Looks so good. No one's around. That's weird. Okay. 
So it begins with Leon freaking Kennedy. The best guy around. Okay. Now, there are a couple of costumes that come with the game. Right now, we're just as Leon as default. However, he will change throughout the story. There's also a really cool costume that's inspired by his 1998 original appearance. And, oh my, can I say, it really brings out just the true beauty of Leon. I feel like some of the... <laughs> The seriousness of the game would disappear if we played with this, but at the same time, it add a whole different kind of horror to it. <laughs> oh, he's a beautiful man. However, I think we're gonna go normal for this. Okay. Let's figure out what's going on. Spooky things happening. Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. <sighs> Indeed. Okay. Don't be scared, everybody. This is totally okay. Nothing bad's gonna get us. We're just here to do some grocery You're shopping. Right? Oof. Don't move. I'll be back for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it is quite dark, but hold on. I didn't you Hey, what are you doing? Well great. Considering how it is when you upload videos and such, they always get a little darker than you want them to be. So I'm wondering if maybe I'd want to adjust that a little bit. Just for the sake of YouTube. So, just a tad. It's supposed to be dark, but at the same time, I want you to be able to see the same that I can see on my screen. Okay, bit of an altercation in here. Stop moving, officer. You need help. Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. No, no. Freeze! I'll shoot. Okay. Okay, just take it easy, just... Uh, that was not enough. Mm. That's great. Danger state already. Usually just run past them, but... Now the thing is... Oh, hold on. I just need to recuperate a bit by this wall. You can't really kill most creatures here, you'll need to... Oh. Okay, we're just gonna go here. You need to find ways to stun them and get past. Alright, we're going out of this place. Goodbye. Can get my groceries later on. Hoop! Oh! Those, the packet of chips can wait. The sodas, I can drink water from the tap. That's fine. I'm just going. Thank you very much. Don't shoot! Get down! You alright? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Come on! Get in! Hold on. Time for a road trip. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah. Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. 
Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. Okay. The time has come, everybody. For Resident Evil 2. Already on danger. On a danger state. One more zombie and we're dead. Probably should have shot him in the leg. Going for the head is just this natural instinct, but you cannot rely on that to actually stop them. The zombies are gonna do what the zombies want to do. So, item preservation is going to be very important. Using health items when it matters. Knowing what items to bring with us as we run around the maze-like corridors of our environments. Is it too late to change the difficulty? No, we're doing this! Don't you worry. Let me do the worrying as we play Resident Evil 2. Attention all citizens, due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station's not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Yeah, uh, going seems like a good idea. Okay. I'm not sure if we're still as hurt as we were earlier. I haven't actually been damaged during the uh, opening sequence until now, until I had to do it in front of somebody. Shit. It's everybody. They've all turned. This is indeed Resident Evil sponsored by Michael Bay. A lot of explosions, but I feel like they, they used them... There it is. Better than Resident Station. Evil 6, let's put it like that. Because that was just, that was a blockbuster. That was the true Michael Bay vision. And this, however, this is 1998 and 2019. Don't get, oh. Oh, come on, you filthy muggle. You're not getting me. Okay. Keep the muggles out. Lock the gates to Hogwarts. 
It's time to make some magic happen. The Raccoon City Police Department, RPD. A lot of people are watching this. This is their first Resident Evil video. So I'm glad. Hello? Is anybody here? Get cozy. We're gonna be here for a while. Okay, they do actually heal you on the way over, so it doesn't matter if you take damage. That's really nice of them. Okay. Ink ribbons. Wonderful. Can use these to save. We also have a first aid spray for some healing. Now, I do have a couple of weapons from previous playthroughs, but needless to say, we won't be relying on them. Even the infinite combat knife, I think. Okay. What's this? There has to be someone here. There is. Not good. David, Marvin, you there? I found a way out. It's in here. In your book? If we fit through there. <sighs> Rookie mistake. Send reinforcements. East hallway. I gotta find that guy. Okay. East, East Hallway, making use of the map. So, the map is really nice in this game. It starts out all blocked off and dark, but as you explore rooms, it'll let you know where things are, what you've explored, what you haven't, and highlight important places that you'll need to go. Just in case something terrible happens, it might be good for us to just make our first preliminary save right here, I'll just save over these previous ones, I believe. Okay, and if you get spooked, don't worry. I'm right here. Just focus on the voices from the dark. Keep out. Ha! Challenge accepted. Gotta go save that man. Okay. We got this. <gasps> I have I, I I have an alert command to let me know if there's something important going on. Is there something important going on? If you'd like to alert me, Husky, consider donating. It has the same effect, but at least it gives me something. You Regardless. East off this way. Here we go. If we could find a fuse, we could get the lights back on in the hallway, which could be good. Lots of miss- oh, look at these missing pixel people. <sighs> Terrible shame. Okay. You got this. We got this! Gotta pump yourself up. Okay. Hello. I'm just stopping by, seeing if there's something here. Ooh. Thank you. I'll be taking those. It's gonna come in handy. Okay. And get that all the way back. Strong man Leon. This is work done for the day. Cleaning and pro- oh no, the women's bathroom. Now that's a truly horrifying place to be. Okay, regular. Just assume this is what it's like. Ooh! First aid spray! Alright, almost there now. Almost to help our guy. Jesus. Yeah, you could say that. Okay, so we don't have anything to cut the chains yet. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Yeah, I'm trying to open this door first. I seem to be failing at it. I'll get you out! Alright. Uh, please! 
Give me your hand. Help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. Officer's notebook. At least he was kind enough to scribble down some things, because I believe the police station is like a renovated museum? Therefore there are some weird architecture and that's their excuse for gamifying it. So we're gonna need three medallions to unlock a goddess statue, which is gonna lead underground, and that's gonna lead out. And then here are some instructions on how to get those medallions from the statues themselves. All right, good to go. Um, somebody seems eager to get in. Yep, we're going. Okay, good night. Hello. See ya. I don't want to be ya. Oh, hey there. How about we just go over here? Wonderful. Goodbye, fine folk. Come get me. Come. Okay, okay. Don't get me. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. <laughs> You had one job to not get me. Watch out. You're safe for now. Thanks, Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> Combat knife. Wonderful. So, it's gonna be our first side weapon. Yeah! So we can use this to conserve some ammunition and also affect some things in the environment. Somebody asked for the backstory, not much more than what you've seen. You don't really know anymore. It's Leon's first day on the job, arriving in Raccoon City, and this is what he arrives to. That's pretty much it, so far. But now, we can get in here, where things are only gonna get better! This is not how I imagined my first day. No. No, if you did, I'd be very worried about you. Okay, now we're starting to... ...stock up on a lot of items now. I don't like that. So I think what we're gonna do... ...is... 
place away those for now. Just want to make sure we have enough space to pick up things we come across. It's not a good idea to run around with a full bag. Just never works out. Why is it called Raccoon City? Well, there was this incident a few years ago. A band of rogue raccoons took over the city. Enslaved the people. We're all that's left. Oh, who's these? Okay, no, not not to worry, not to worry. It's just... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're just not gonna deal with that. So, there are also a couple of doors that we cannot get in yet that are going to require different keys that we'll only get later on. So, we'll have to get familiar with the hallways. So, we will be back. Also, there's a window mechanic in the game where you have a limited amount of planks you can use to board up windows. However, you can't board up all of them. Uh. And you can also get these really cool close-ups whenever you press A around the window. Mwah. She's a beauty. A real beauty. Okay, no, 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 no. Give me some of these. And... So here's another chain door it requires something to get in there there's a bit of a record of events here for those caring about the backstory september 25th we're turning the station into temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak all police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others the person in question was quickly restrained we believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense what Okay. That was that one, huh? Thank you, Mortem Nocte, for your heart attack and your five dollars. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. And then the following day, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters, but surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. Twelve people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. So, this place wasn't really safe for that long. Now we got a map of the place, and it helps to have a map. So I've heard. And there are some doors they will not get into, like safe rooms and such. And then there are those they can't get into, so I'm just gonna... I'll be going now. Goodbye. See ya. Okay, always check behind you when you're landing corridors. Or go backwards when you spawn on 2D platformers. They're always goodies behind you. Just gotta know how to look. Okay, I know the feeling. <laughs> so relatable. When the machine doesn't want to give you the chocolate you paid for. Haha. <laughs> so relate. Okay. Now the thing is, I could just ignore him, but I'll have to pass through here later, so part of me would like to deal with him as soon as I can. I do have the knife, which is gonna help me with counters. So, I think... Okay, hello. Big boy. Big boy. Take it easy, big boy. There we go. Go for the leg strategy. Cut him! Make him full of cuts. Cut him limb from limb. Okay, we good? I don't know if we're good. Are we good? Are we? We might be good. I don't want to use more of my knife's durability on him. <gasps> Thank you, the gentleman dragon, for uh, shortening my lifespan. I appreciate that. Okay, now I generally like taking out legs. Because without legs, they get infinitely less scary. Their mobility is greatly reduced. Can you please? Please! 
Just be silent. Okay. He might have a few more... He might have a bit more health left in him, but... We'll deal with that when the time comes. Okay, so this is actually the office where we were supposed to be working. And we got gunpowder. Let's make some TNT and blow our way out of here. So, gunpowder is combined to make different types of ammo. So... It's going to be essential for our journey. Our knife can indeed break. You can see it on the durability down on this. Okay. Just gonna be like that, huh? Okay. I'm gonna try to get the legs as quick as possible. Uh. Oh, he got me from the back! Yeah, bastard. I figured if he grabs me, we can just knife him off. No biggie. But because he ran behind me, I can't use the knife. <clears throat> so that hurts. You bastard. Cut him a little bit. Okay, that's the satisfying crunch. I think that means we're good. Probably should use our first aid spray now, shouldn't we? Goodbye, Holly. So trying to conserve ammo there actually made me use health, which might not be great. There are a couple of saves around. I do have some of them memorized, but I'll try to get them as the story allows. Come on. Is he back up? Operation report. September 28th is down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not gonna make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from his museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm gonna try to find out what I can about that tunnel. Okay, Elliot. Now, this was actually our desk. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figure that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you the straight answer. Ha ha ha. Lieutenant Brana. And then you can see scrolled in a corner. Be glad you're not here, rookie. This is kind of wholesome. Alright, you guys. Let's figure this out. That's an N for Neil. And a E for Elliot. And finally, a D for David Ford. Ned. That's a name in and of itself. Wonderful. Okay. Are you... Are you gonna remain calm? Uh, that's a G over the... R... G... M. MRG. I do believe this is a bit of an upgrade to our gun. Which would be useful for us. High capacity mag. I'll take it. Twice the bullets. Now, this door would lead back to the main hall, but it's locked, so we can't get through here yet. Somebody's just coughing up. Oh. Oh, him. Okay. Uh, should we... I have, I have some ammo. I have some ammo. Oh, At the, the very hell? least, we can kneecap them. If I don't shoot the chairs in this place. The chairs look ancient. How can you expect officers to sit? He's not very bright, this guy. Just... What? Okay. I'll save a bit of my knife, I think. <gasps> yeah, you're still a problem, aren't you? Hmm. I think we're gonna just slice a bit, a little bit. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna call, we're gonna say that's good. Okay, another one. Good, good, good. Planks. Just where I needed them. Thank you. Please be patient. Don't break the window. Beautiful mug shot and good. It's not very bright, this guy, says the guy shooting a chair. Mia! Don't doubt my logic. It's infallible. 
I think I'll put away the gunpowder for now so we can decide what to make with it later on. I don't immediately need gunpowder or handgun ammo. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Yes, we can find herbs in this game and make some dank healing items. We have green herbs, which heal basic injuries, and blue herbs, which treat poisoning. And red herbs, they are combined with other herbs in order to give a shield-like property. And if we combine all three of them, we get like a super herb, which just gives us tons of cool effects. Like it heals us and it shields us, guards against poison. And here we can also develop some film in the dark room. So we can come back here later on. Okay. I say let's probably combine these, store them away. Just in case I get grabbed by something, we'll put those away, store away two, and then we'll make a save here. <sighs> can you bring the spiky hero back? I don't know, I feel like I'm over my spiky hero days. I don't know if there's any going back. He shouldn't be able to get through now. He might just make a little bit of noise, but that's fine. He's just very he's just a very big Leon fan, kinda like me. What's that in your crotch, madam? Can I Thank you? Okay. Okay, let's try something fun with you. I know you're not the brightest. Come here. Come here! Come and get me up the- You bastard. You bastard. Freaking idiot. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Do I want to pick that up? Sure. Might have to toss it away if I can. We'll see. Ooh. Portable safes. We can actually use this to play like a, a small mini game in order to get a cool item. But we can do that later on. Portable safe instruction. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp, and then we gotta light them up in a certain order. Sure, let, why not? Might as well. So, this is gonna require some brain power. Ooh. You mods can add quotes now, so you can check out the commands if you'd want to try to add that as a, um... As a quote. Okay, so here, here. So, this, this, this. This, 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 this. Okay, so this, 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 this. Ah, <gasps> so it's this, 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 this. No, so it's this, this, this. No. <sighs> Brain power. Okay, so it's this, this, this. There we go. Got him. What do we get for that? A spare part. Now hold your applause. Hold your applause. It's a spare key for some sort of keypads. All right. Shotgun shells as well, but we don't have a shotgun. Hall. Oh. It's disc locker as well. I do remember the combination for this. So then again, I'm not... Oh, that's unfortunate. Sure, it's just... It was just unlocked. I actually, the first time I played, I just messed around a bit and I figured out that it was capped, so... I'm just reliving that, and... Oh! Hello. However, we don't have a valve to get past the steam at the moment. Uh, we'll have to go further up, but I think for now we can actually go back with this keypad here, although... Oh, where's... Now we have this. Hey, easy boy. Put those boards up for a reason. Gosh. Uh, your leg is just solid rock. My <laughs> that was pretty epic. Okay, my knife's about to break. I'd like that to save me from some sort of um, defense. Okay, safe the deposit room. Here we go. Here we have a terminal where we can actually unlock a couple of lockers. But there's missing two keys on the keypads. So what do we want? Well, let's probably do number two for now. Bump. 
Okay, so we'll get 102, 102, 106, 109, 102, gunpowder, 106, that's a roll of film, 109, nice. Okay. Now, I d we don't have that much space at the moment. So, I'll see what I pick up and what I leave behind. Roll of fill, commemorative photo. That's just a hint for a later puzzle. We won't need that. It's pretty straightforward. If I remember right. So, here's the weapon locker with the shotgun. However, it's locked. So, we better get our butts around to finding a way to get that. 208. Okay, 208 for some shotgun ammo. Give it to me. Thank you. And... Ammo for a weapon we do not have. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears the keypad lockers is missing a few keys. Yep. We're on it. Now then, we'll probably want to place a <laughs> Just Please remain this way. Don't come back to life yet. Just stay like that for a while. Just pray. Okay. I think that's good. More space, more stuff. Thank you for the... Uh <gasps> you freaking bastard. Thank you for the donation, Tobisama. Appreciate that. Uh, certain sums don't actually show up on the screen if they're below certain thresholds. Just to prevent somebody. You know how people are. Okay, so, second floor is off limits. Up to the third floor, I guess. 